The white man who killed 10 black people at a Buffalo supermarket made his first appearance in federal court on hate crime charges Thursday, and the judge urged prosecutors to quickly decide whether to pursue the death penalty given the substantial cost of those cases. In a brief proceeding, Presiding Magistrate Judge H. Kenneth Schroeder said Peyton Shintron was eligible to be represented by public defenders based on his financial situation. Fielding a series of questions from the judge mostly with yes or no responses, Gendron said he had not been employed in a year, had $16 in a bank account, had no car and two shares of Disney stock. Gendron has been held without bail since his arrest shortly after the May 14 attack at a Topps friendly supermarket, which also left three people wounded. He appeared in U.S. District Court on a criminal complaint charging him with 10 counts each of hate crime resulting in death and using a firearm to commit murder. The complaint also includes three counts each of hate crime involving bodily injury and attempt to kill, and using a firearm in a violent crime. Gendron wore an orange jumpsuit, shackles and a black mask covering a scruffy beard. He leaned forward slightly in his chair with his head down when the judge read the charges. No plea was entered during the proceeding. It's hard being here. It's hard being in a courtroom with a terrorist, said Zanetta Everhart, one of about two dozen relatives of victims who were in the courtroom. Seeing the man who tried to kill my son sitting there, sharing the same space with him, is hard. Everett's 21-year-old son, Zaire Goodman, a Topps employee, was shot in the neck as he helped a customer in the parking lot but survived. She called being in court part of my healing process. Gentron's parents were not in the courtroom, 